What is up guys? It's Gage here. Welcome to you Buck Dad. Today we're going to be discussing where is DeAndre Hopkins going. So he actually just had a visit with the Tennessee Titans and this coming week he's going to be visiting with the New England Patriots who just uh, signed J.J. Smith-Schuster. So DeAndre Hopkins obviously is looking for a receiver one, receiver two at the most. Because the guy still has some juice left. 31 years old. Has around 11,000 yards in his career. His last, He's been hurt and suspended for the past two seasons. But his last full healthy season, he had 1,400 yards and around eight touchdowns. So, pretty fucking good. Now, DeAndre Hopkins has been a guy that's been a difference maker with teams being. He's been with his, uh, he's been with Sean Watson. Uh, he played with shitty quarterbacks before Deshaun Watson, so he had like four years of playing with uh, Brian Hoyers. Um, he actually, I think, he might have Ryan Fitzpatrick at one point. But, but yes, the guys that were not not nearly franchise worthy quarterbacks. Um, so he's had some tough strings. You almost uh, Mike Evans in his early years, he had like Josh McCown had shitty quarterbacks for the most part. So that's the most comparable, but. At least for the first three years. Um, but once Sean Watson came to town, that's when Hopkins saw a little bit more better passing play, which helped him a lot. Um, I think that year he had like 1,100 yards of, uh, when Deshaun came to town, before he got injured at least. Um, and yeah, DeAndre Hopkins. So right now the options are the Patriots. I don't really throw the Titans in there. Um, the Titans, I'm going to say, are lower. Because, like, they're rebuilding right now. They have they have the Derrick Henry still, but, which I was surprised if they're going to trade him. But the quarterback situation, if he, it's going to be Will Levis, most likely. They draft him in the second round, so they look at him as a future starter. But if I'm DeAndre Hopkins, I'm 31 years old. I got two good years, maybe three, if I'm doing something like a TB12 method or something like that. But I'm like, I don't really want to go with that team. You know, there's not much going on there, and they're pretty fucked, it looks like. So, and the only thing they have going is Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill until he gets matched for Will Levis, who who puts mayonnaise in his coffee. So, so probably not. Probably, uh, uh, probably not feeling that. Um, Patriots, I could see. I could see, you know, Bill Checks, the greatest coach, I think, in NFL history. So, you got the best coach you could ever ask for. You got a guy you're, you got, you got J. Smith Schuster, who you're going to be working with. And you're going to, it's going to help both of you because you guys are taking pressure off each other. They're going to be focused on Juju Smith. It's going to actually have Juju as well because they're going after Hopkins. They're going to, that's a guy going to be targeting. Juju Smith Schuster is still slightly under, under above the radar. But with the Super Bowl win, he's, he's been getting a little bit more popular, I guess you could say. Hopefully not TikTok. Hopefully, uh, we won't see no TikToks this season, but you never know. Um, so, that's a very possibility. The only thing that I think would deter Hopkins is their, what they've been doing the last couple of seasons. They missed the playoffs last year, the year before, they got they got pulverated in the first rounds against the Buffalo Bills. And their quarterback is Mac Jones, who <clears throat> has been average. Who's been average. If it wasn't for Bill Check, probably would have been bust already. Um, so there's a possibility that Patriots, I say, guys, uh, is definitely a good option for Hopkins because Bill Check is a genius. Like, he's the best coach you could ask for. And ha they're building their defense is looking strong. So they built their offense. You know, the Buffalo uh, Patriots are playoff contenders right away, especially if Hopkins on the team. So that's a possibility there. I'm going to throw in Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I can see DeAndre Hopkins. He just wants a fucking ring. He wants to have an opportunity to win. Because he's been, he's been paid. He has money. He has money. He's been paid by the Texans and the Cardinals. So he's not looking for the money. He's looking for the win. And if he's looking for that, the Chiefs are going to be the best option for him. Uh, Patrick Mahomes just got a second ring. They're in, uh, they're in the championship about every year. Or, or game away from the championship game. So... DeAndre Hopkins might want to play with the best quarterback in the league since the Brady's retired. Mahomes and a fucking caliber offense. You got Travis Kels, and you got a couple of young receivers that uh, the Chiefs, I believe they just drafted one too. But 
But they got a good young running back who they drafted in the seventh round who killed it last season. And McKinnon. Those two are really good. Um, and DeAndre Hopkins automatically would be number one. Like, I can't really... Re the only guy that's really notable with the Chiefs receiver for is... Uh, is Kadarius Tony and he didn't really get to play last year. When he did play, he played really good. But we'll see how he continues next season as playing a full season. Because he's first round status. That's the reason why he's been bouncing around. He has talent. But can he stay out of trouble and really produce? So that's where we're gonna see here. Um but Chiefs would be best bet. I'd like if I was the Andre Hopkins sign like, I don't know, one year four mil deal or three mil deal with incentives and uh fucking go. Try to win the Super Bowl for one season. Now, let's say DeAndre Hopkins is looking at he wants to he wants to win, but he was a long term contract. His best bet would be Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills are still Super Bowl contenders. They got the Madden curse this year since Josh Allen is now going to be the cover of Madden 2024. So, but regarding that, regardless of that, DeAndre Hopkins, if he's looking long term, I believe Buffalo Bills would give him that. Give him like a three year deal where fuck, I don't know, um, like 12 million per year or somewhere around that, 12, 13 mil per year for like, I don't know, 50 million, three years, 50 mil. Um, could be somewhere around that avenue. I guess, I, yeah, I would say that's probably like around 12, 13. Don't, don't, don't not, do not, don't uh, quote me on that because I'm not the best, I'm not a math jizz. I've never really been good at math. So, that's my math teacher. <laughs> but DeAndre Hopkins, if he's looking long term and wants, but he wants a team that is contending for a Super Bowl, Buffalo Bills be his best bet. He's against, he's with Stephon Diggs, um, Josh Allen, who's a top 10 quarterback. A defense that remains to be seen. They've been good in recent years, but they have lost. They lost a really good linebacker and a few defensive players. So we're going to have to see here. Um, but DeAndre Hopkins, Buffalo Bills are a top team. Now, this team has been mentioned, but I would put it as my dark horse. It's a team that a lot of people are not going to be talking about. The Minnesota Vikings. Now, Minnesota Vikings... They cut Cook, and now they're looking at uh, Trey and Hunter. Now, most people think Vikings are rebuilding. I mean, shit. Well, I guess it didn't take long. Gets under that new man. Richmond didn't go well. No. No, it's a uh, new defense coordinator. And we're all forgetting how good. I'm trying to say his name now, but uh, from the Dolphins. Uh, he actually was a linebacker coach for the Steelers as well. Damn, what the he was you you guys probably know who I'm talking about, but um yeah, he got he's uh this guy was a great he did really good with the Dolphins. He got he uh sued the Dolphins over like ta the tampering in the offseason, which everyone fucking does. You know, that's great controversy and he didn't really get much opportunity until um until Mike Tomlin's like, hey, man, you can come on to be a linebacker coach. You've done a really good job. Uh, let's go. And now he's a defensive coordinator for the Dolphins. I'm still trying to think of his name. I should have written this down. Um, but the, uh, but uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. The defensive coordinator for the Dolphins. Um, well, defense coordinator now for the Vikings. The former head coach of the Dolphins and former linebacker coach for the Steelers. He's going to come in, and later with the Dolphins, within their first year, he made them a fucking top defense. They're top 15. So, and the Vikings, they still have some really good players. Harrison Smith. Uh, I believe Dalvin Thompson is still there. Um, or Jordan Hicks. Now, there's going to be guys you don't know, but it's going to be really, it's going to be pretty fucking good. Um, I think the defense is going to turn out well. It's a scheme, so... You don't always need superstars that have really good defense. Sometimes you just got the right players in there. Look at the look at the Eagles. They only had like one or two stars maybe, and they're fun. they won the Super Bowl against the Patriots. You had Tom Brady and all of these fucking guys. Um. So. So yeah, the Vikings. Uh, Vikings drafted a uh, rookie, um, Addison. Addison, who. Uh, 
who was drafted first round, who a lot of people, even though Doug Beckham on Twitter is like, man, this is a guy you want to draft. So this guy is, uh, you know, he's uh, looking at being a top prospect this year. But I can see if Vikings moving to the slot because he's a rookie. He still needs to learn stuff. If you can get Hopkins for like, I don't know, fucking, they, they just freed up $8 million. Get fucking, spend all that money on DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, make sure you got your draft picks in order. But then, they, they already wrapped up the draft order, so they're good. So spend the rest of their money in DeAndre Hopkins and make a Super Bowl run, which I can see. This is Kirk Cousins last year. They will not be resigned this year. Because um, they just don't want to pay the money that they've been the past six years. And so this is Kirk Cousins last year. And you got Justin Jefferson. You got my Alexander Madison, who's pretty decent running back. You don't need a superstar running back no more like it used to be, which is why Cook was cut. Because he's not, the running back position is available. So Madison's perfect for what they're looking for. Um, they If they got, they fucking, they have Addison. They got TJ Hawkinson, who's the top five tight end. So they have a top five offense. So Hopkins, look at this. They got a really good defense corner who will jumpstart that defense, who will help him improve tremendously this year, and they'll only get better throughout. Um, here's a guy that'll probably be a head coach candidate. Um, they got a top five offense, a really good head coach, offense-minded uh, coach, mind you, and let's fuck. And they're they're they could be in the Super Bowl this year. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. I can see him with the Vikings. I can see him with the Vikings and you know, call me crazy, but I can see him in a second. The only thing is money. That's the only way I don't think he could be with the Vikings. But my top three would be Buffalo, Kansas City, and the Minnesota Vikings. So guys, let me know. Where do you think Hopkins will land? Uh, I know you guys are you were hoping for me to say Buccaneers, but the Buccaneers status... It's the same Dalvin Cook situation, just isn't plausible. And I'm not going to, I don't do cook bait, guys. I'm, I'm always going to be front with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Dalvin Cook, there's no possibility he's going to the Vikings. I mean, the Bucks. We would have to do some major things. Even, we would have to, re, the only guy we can re, uh, reconstruct, reconstruct his contract for Dalvin Cook is Shaq, uh, Shaq Barrett. And even that might have been enough to get Cook. And really, you don't need Cook. Or like like people call me crazy because I said a running back set, but we are really set. We got White, who's an upcoming star. We got Edmonds, who's great in the passing game. We got Patrick Lard, which you guys might not heard of. Like, oh, who the fuck's that guy? I uh, have really he had a good season in the Dolphins. Um, they got him for someone else. He's been kind of bouncing around. He got the Bucks. He's on the practice squad last year, but he's a big body guy. He's almost like a fullback. So I can give away. He can he can uh, get those tough yards in the third down situations, which is really good. And we got Tucker, a rookie that has a lot of potential. Had a big injury, I believe it was a spinal injury. Um, so he was not looked. He wasn't very looked at. But if he was healthy, he would have been a top pick, probably in the fourth round. So, so with those four, I'm pretty confident. Um, but let me know. Let me know where you guys think. Uh, where will DeAndre Hopkins land. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you bucked that.